Before we insert a full page background image in Word, we need to be clear on our goal. If our document has only a single page or we want to have the same background image on every single page of our document, then we should insert the image into the header and footer area of the document. Let's call this option 1. Since the image will be stored in the header and footer area, this option has the advantage that we don't have to worry about accidentally moving or deleting it while we are editing the standard text content. However, if we have a document with multiple pages and want to have a mix of different images across these pages, then we should insert the image into the standard editing area of the document, as this will be the easier method when multiple different images are needed. Let's call this option 2. Both options are extremely similar. If you are interested in option 1, then activate the header and footer area by doing a double click into the area and then do all the steps that will follow in a second while the header and footer area is activated. If you are interested in option 2, then don't open the header and footer area, but simply stay in the standard text editing area. Let's start now. First of all we go to the insert tab and here we click on pictures. In the file explorer we search for our picture select it and confirm our selection by clicking on insert. Now that the image is inserted, we click on the small box at the top right corner of the image and change the text wrapping options to behind text. By the way, if the text wrapping button is not visible for you for some reason, you can also simply select the image, go to the format tab within the picture tools and here you will find the text wrapping options again. Now we have to resize the image, we could do that by dragging the corner points of the image but this is not very precise. A better option is that we go into the format tab again and simply enter either the page width for the image width or the page height for the image height. By the way, if you don't know the page dimensions, simply go to the layout tab and click on size. There you can read off the dimensions of your paper size. In this example I'll edit the image height to make sure that the image covers the full page. Before changing the value, we click on the little arrow in the bottom right corner of the size section and in the dialog window we make sure that the aspect ratio is locked, otherwise the image might get distorted. We can now change the image size and the last thing we need to do is position the image properly. For that we stay in the format tab and in the arrange section we click on align. There we have to make sure that align to page is activated, then we again open the alignment functions and now we select align center and then also align middle. The image is now perfectly centered on the page, but of course you can still move it around with your mouse or the arrows on your keyboard if you want some other part of the image to be in focus. To additionally make sure that the image doesn't move with the text, select the image, go into the format tab within the picture tools, click on position and then on more layout options. In the new window, select absolute position for both the vertical and the horizontal position and in the drop down menus to the right, select page. This will create an absolute positioning system for the image relative to the page and like that your image shouldn't start moving when the text is moving. If that video was the solution to your problem, then please support the channel by hitting the like and the subscribe button. Thanks a lot and I see you in the next one.